Ladies, my name is Jack Septiceye, and welcome back to The Walking Dead, episode 3. Let's continue exactly where we left off last time. We're getting ready to have a party. We're gonna have a... a going away party? A surprise leaving... Par I can't remember what kind of party we're having, but we have colorful jars and a heater we stuffed up our ass. Looks like things are coming together. Yeah. <coughs> we still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die... We should have some fun first. <laughs> Just cussing Lewis him all smoking weed. Lewis isn't here. See that? <laughs> it's like Lewis in a box. If we don't hurry up, Lewis well, is going to be in a box. His gramophone, so he can play some records. Not much of a selection, but uh, let's play some. Just tell me what you listen to. Some jazz. Wouldn't happen to have any good jazz records, would you? Oh yeah, the old music teacher was a big fan. Pretty cool guy up until he ditched us all. What's jazz sound like? Uh, well, that one's hard to describe. Mm, just wait till you hear it. <laughs> yeah, you try and describe it. Um, so you take one of those black things that look like plates and you put it on here. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. Mm. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Purple's nice. It's natural moonlight, so. Something to compliment that, maybe? I'm gonna go with purple. Well, Red's a bit too harsh, and green is just color. not a nice color to or fill a room with. Purple was a color of royalty. Purple. <laughs> really? Shut God. up. I like purple. Shouldn't You're you like named after a color. Violet? Yeah. I'll make it happen. He's fucking questioning my color choices. Come on, Violet. Don't Don't be such a... <laughs> Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking well, something uplifting, like, we're gonna get through this. I gotta get through this. AJ, why don't you come up with something? Really? I have an idea. It'll be a surprise. I, I hate I everyone. On. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. You better write Jacksepticeye's funniest home videos on it. Or write, laugh! Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the oh. party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Okay, I don't trust that. Mm. What you want, Willie? Hey, Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. It's this fucking idiot on the wall behind. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. Dope. He is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others and from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. Oh, oh hell sure they yeah. Don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. Uh, is it me, or is there a bit of a bomb obsession at this school? <laughs> well, it's not you. There totally is. But for good reason. <laughs> the tricky bit is timing the explosion so that it happens after you get off the boat. Yeah, what if that goes off Trust while me. we're on it? This'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, of ready. ass is written yeah, on the background. And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before about how he treated Ten. No. Oh. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Yeah. You gotta make amends with Tens. Oh! Break it down now! Uh! Is this jazz? <laughs> Look at him go! You wanna you wanna dance, Rosie? Ow! Oh! I'm feeling it! The oh, best friends! Wow, this looks great, Ruby. Wait, we have that. Ruby and we have Violet. But just wait till you see. And the dog's name is Rosie? Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. 
Everyone's named after colors. I guess I'll mingle. I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. It's a bomb! <laughs> Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, ah, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it something cool. Absolutely, we're going to call it the Big Bad Bitch. Name. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah, let's name this fucker. <laughs> Willie Jr. Ruby's Revenge, Mitch's masterpiece. Willie Jr. You made it, so we'll name it after you, Willie Jr. That's like my name, Alvin Jr. Hell yeah, it is, boy. I have to hate my name, not anymore. Welcome to the world, WJ. I don't hate my name anymore now that it's gonna send a bunch of bitches to the afterlife. <laughs> I found Courage! What's your Okay, find? Clementine. These here are our official Ericsson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got oh. sent to school in the first place. And all the bad shit we did that kept them from sending us back home. So what's the game? I figured. If Guess who's the most this fucked crazy up? Mission together. Might as well know who we really are. So I'll read some of what the adults thought about us, and you have to guess which one of us fits the best. <laughs> oh, fun! I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This will be the first one. Okay. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank. Continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Uh, Violet or Willie? <laughs> That's all of you. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's gotta be Violet. Nope, way scarier. That's Ruby's file. <laughs> Holy shit! Really? Guilty as charged. Motherfucker! Yeah, you should have seen Ruby back in the early days. She was like, uh, you ever seen those Tasmanian devil cartoons? When you were a kid? <laughs> sure did. <laughs> that was our Ruby. He used to have a mean streak a mile long. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. That's before I, mean, I started I listening to country to music. <laughs> the first time I met Ruby, she was all, that little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. Oh, Edge. You guys want to know why I got sent here? <laughs> Willie, please, no. Chronic masturbation. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> nobody wanted to know. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> what does that mean? Ah, uh, don't you dare. <laughs> Uh, anyway, <laughs> maybe we should change up the music? Yeah, put on some chronic masturbatory music. There's a lot of them. Let's change the country, I won't fuck you up! Heard enough of this. Throw some country on. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. Willie and Ruby like that. Oh, hell yeah! Willie isn't this and Willie Nelson? I like him, he's pretty good. He's on the road again. Y'all motherfuckers want to hear more about files? I'll give you files, motherfucker. I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Yeah, there's a lot of Where dead bitches here. And Theresa and Jasper. I just like talking in that accent. girl <laughs> with colored braces. And Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Kendrick? Aaron. Yeah, I used to make fun of her braces. Why did I do that? Because uh, I told you, Violet, there's just something about you. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Sweet mother of God! Well, that's depressing. Whose is it? Lewis. Should we read it? I could yes. tell you why I was sent here instead. You know, as a consolation prize or whatever. You might hate me after, but since we're all being so open and all. Man, the game really wants to make you choose between... 
between Lewis and Violet, doesn't it? I was hoping you'd tell me. I spent a lot of time at my grandma's house growing up. What with my dad being a drunk and my mom working three jobs. But after my grandpa died, grandma just kind of shut down. Spent all day and night rocking in her little chair in the den. I'd sit there at her feet as we both watched TV. Mostly cartoons, since she never seemed to care. Sometimes I could hear her crying, but I didn't look back. I'd just feel really weird and turn up the volume. You know? Anyway, one day she left the den and came back with another chair and a 22 rifle. Jesus. She set the rifle butt on the top of the chair, holding the barrel back to her chest. So, you know, she had trouble reaching the trigger this way, but she must have known it would happen because she took out this really tacky wooden back scratcher. The real long kind with the one end shaped like a hand. And, uh, Use that to push the trigger in. Jesus. So yeah. Bang. Right. Her body folded up and just kept rocking. My mom came to get me five hours later. I hadn't moved. She asked why I didn't call the police or an ambulance or anything. I just shrugged and told her it wasn't like grandma was going anywhere. And besides, I just wanted to finish my cartoons. Fuck, man. Why do it that way, though? She shipped me off to Erickson the next day. I was 11. Jesus. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. I'm so sorry, Violet. I can't imagine what that was like. What you went through. It's fine. We've just been through a lot of shit. You kind of can, Clem. We weren't good people, Clem and Tommy. You had to shoot but Lee. It still doesn't mean that we should have been left here to die by the people that were supposed to take care of us. Sorry, this is supposed to be fun. I'm, I'm just not the game type like Lewis was, I guess. You mean is? We'll see him soon. Ten's right. Yeah. Also, hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when? Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared. Too bad I can't play it. Who would have known, huh? He liked that one. You could just sing it to us like she used to. Your voice is really pretty. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Everyone's I, uh, very obsessed with Lewis in this episode. I can do that. It doesn't really feel like they were leading up to this. That's nice. Never mind the blood red moon. Super the blood wolf moon. It will be over soon. The night will be over soon. Should burn those files. The 
That was really nice. I like that. That was ominous. Jesus. Okay, is it time? Whew. I was gonna say, why did Violet's grandmother put the gun to her- the back of her chest? And then pull the trigger? Oh, no. Oh, don't do me like this. Uh-oh. Oh, no, it's gonna be a sad flashback. Oh, no. Lee, no! Hey, sweet pea. No! Lee? Oh, I miss Lee! Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. It's so weird to see her so young again. To shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me. And I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? <laughs> Couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. I never noticed. It just felt like you always knew the right thing to do. Yeah? Well, I got lucky. Luck counts for a lot. I'm gonna need some now. This is so you sweet. Tell me about what you're up against. I'm with a new group now, and I've been in so many, and they always fall apart. But I really like this one. Yeah. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But when I miss Lee. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? <laughs> Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. Clementine, I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. You're right. I just needed to hear you say it. I'm going to get my friends out of this. Every one of them. Alive. That's right. <clears throat> Imagine what Lewis is gonna say when he sees your face. Those boys are gonna have hope again knowing that you came to rescue them. <sighs> Oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Yeah. Friends. A girl who loves you. Love? They're fighting beside what? you. Because of you. Lee's voice is so soothing. Oh, sweet pea. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out and safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. Lee? I miss you. So much. Oh. I wish you were really here. I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. 
Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. Oh. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? Uh. <laughs> you have no idea. He's a better shot than I am. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? It's tough. Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. AJ's amazingly. I've taught him to be strong and brave and capable. He'd be so proud. Mm. You mean more than I already am. Oh! Oh, I'm too full of emotion! Oh, I need to like punch a kitten or something. Oh, no! <laughs> Just look at you. <laughs> Thought I told you to keep this short. Um, you don't know how hard it is to find scissors these days. Jeez, her voice. <laughs> Time to go, Clementine. You've got people that need you. Goodbye, Lee. Don't do me like this! Stupid game! You can't bring Lee back like that! You know what you're doing. Wake up. Ugh. It's time to go. We got a long walk. I wasn't ready for that. I'm glad they did, though. That was sweet. Dad? <laughs> Why would you shoot? That's gonna draw a lot more of them. Ah. Are we going to meet uh, James again? Yes, we're really doing <coughs> this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend. He's here. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. There he is. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. <laughs> He's, uh, so cool. How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh, I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. <laughs> Willie, stay focused. Now isn't the time for this. We can ask questions later. Yeah, right. Sorry. Oh, please nobody die. I'm focused. Please nobody die. Oh. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. I, uh, uh, hey. Hey there, James. Sorry about Willie. <laughs> Is this the guy that Clem said she'd marry? <laughs> yeah. Um, what? Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? I'm not ready for marriage. Good idea. Hold tight. I like you as a friend and hey, all, Tim, but. Can you come talk for a sec? You're not marriage material. There's something I have to tell you. Oh, the about walkers. sisters. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Oh, something's going to go horribly wrong. Your friends are different, open-minded, accepting. Yes, yeah, twenty nineteen, like man. Like you. It's not usually how my first impressions go. You gotta keep good company. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. 
It's just being welcomed. It's strange. You know, they could be your friends too. I know you didn't want to come into the school before, but now that you've met them... I haven't lived with people in a long time, but it does sound nice. Let me think about it. There we go. I don't smell like ass anymore. I wanted to show you something. This is... was my boyfriend, Charlie. Oh. We joined the Whisperers together. But it changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. What do you mean? The Whisperers were my family. From a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Mm. Weakness was considered a poison. And I believed in that fiercely. So much so that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. I didn't talk to him. Didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember his name. I'm not going to say anything. Someone like him would only slow us down. That was enough of a reason for me. I had no doubt in my mind that I was right. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. No one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. He said it was wrong, but it sounded like he was just repeating what he'd been told. Taking life like that from a young age, it breaks something inside you. Mm. It broke something in Charlie. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. I'm not going to let AJ become a killer. I don't want him to change. Not like that. I hope you can keep that promise. Uh, me too. He kind of killed someone without... They're close. Soon there will be enough... Uh, pretense last time. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. James is gonna die, isn't he? Thank you. Don't let James die. Take care of AJ. Oh, he's so gonna die. Okay, he's ready to go. The game's not gonna let me go through something like this and not let someone die. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Ted, take care of the supplies. I've got the bomb. <laughs> Where are you hiding that? Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. What? See you all on the other side. Oh, God. I'll cut it open. Cut it open? Oh. Ugh. Violet told me about Minnie. Mm. That Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just... If you see her out there, tell her... Tell her I forgive her. Oh. Please. Sweet boy. I tell her myself, but... I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Thanks. Hmm. Okay. Hey, it's time. We gotta move. Time for one last hoot, Nanny. What happens if someone else gets caught while we're in there? No. 
What if it's you? I couldn't save Minnie or Lou or the Sim. Omar. I, I... I really care about you, Clem. If something happened to you because of me... I can't lose you, too. I won't. Yeah! That's all you need to know. You better not disappear on me, okay? I promise. Oh, God. Don't say that in a game like this. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Look in another direction. <laughs> are we good? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Let's bring our friends back home. All of them. All of them. No. It's ready. You know when you say stuff like that, in a game or a narrative like this, you know that it's not gonna happen. It's gonna sound gross, but... Covering your smell. <laughs> Smart. Ugh. Use guts! Tasty. Oh, God. Oh, that shit don't wash back. out. Oh, that shit don't wash out. Smear guts on Violet. This is getting kinky. I just want to say you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> and I th I think very highly of you. <laughs> I love you. We're doing it. It's the guts, I swear. <laughs> All right, everyone, roll out. Okay, follow my lead. No, oh, Jesus, it's like fucking saving Private Ryan. Ah, that could have been me. It's okay, just press Q when it shows up. Use them as shields. Think of it like Overwatch. Okay. Uh oh, uh oh, oh god, okay. Okay, should I should I hide when the light comes on me? Like this? Yep! That seems to fucking work. Okay, okay, okay. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um. I die. Stay behind the walkers. Yeah. Use them as shields. Yeah. That one. Okay. Okay. The light's not on me yet. I'm gonna try and save time. Ooh, like that. Oh God. Okay, now I'm going this way. See, the problem is that I didn't move. I kept going forward, but I didn't move left or right. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I can't queue! I can't queue! I can't queue! It wouldn't let me queue! Come on, man. Also, the game runs like shit. Watch, it's gonna lag right here. There. And there. And there. And there. And there. Because the game doesn't know how to fucking render. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Shoot that one, not me! I'm a good boy. <laughs> Let me cue this time. It's not letting me cue this one! It just lets me walk through it! That's fun! <laughs> I'm having a great time! Being shot in the head over and over again. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. I'm running out of walkers, so I keep running fast. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. I'm being pushed. I don't appreciate being pushed. 
Fuck. Fuck. I'm gonna have to wait for the next one to come. Like that. Boosh! There's no walkers left! What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? There's no walkers left, man. Oh, I did it. Almost there. Yes! <laughs> okay, I just had to take my time. Hi! Oh, now I'm deaf. Didn't we agree not to burn the supplies? Okay, now's our chance. That was really close. We can't risk leaving cover. We'll have to crawl along the side of the dock. Couldn't you have done this before? Just come up river? Oh god. Oh, I hope I don't get shotted. I hope I don't get deadified. I'm aware. <laughs> fuck, fuck. Follow me this way. Wait, the walkers just walk in the bottom of the ocean as well? Ah, oh, that's so creepy. Get up before they grab you! Die! What did they just say? Oh, bitch! Get off me! Get off me, you fuck! <laughs> oh, thank! Fuck, are you okay? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm okay! Stay close. Uh -oh. Shoot him! Shoot him! Thank you! <laughs> Walking Dead is a side scroller now. Uh, uh. <laughs> Aha! Okay, small door. Let's hurry. Ready, AJ? Walkers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God! Oh, God, the sensitivity is... very bad. Oh, God. Take that, Norman Reedus! It's very loud! Okay. We're in. Hacker voice. I'm in. All right. Time to fuck that butt. We're getting close. After we find the boiler and place the bomb, we'll get our friends out. Mm. Nanny said they keep prisoners on the second deck. Look out for guards and stay quiet. But okay? I know fuck all about boats. Behind you. Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? He touched the butt. <laughs> this is too tense. I don't fucking like it. It's locked. Dang. Okay, I need a fucking higher sensitivity, man. This door opens. Hey, who's there? Ah, uh, Jimbo! Your friend from school. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. I gotta use my stabbing knife. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Did I do it? Sir? Hey, 
Hey, Glenn. This has got to be the boiler, right? Looks yeah, like it. It looks like it. That's where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in the way. Maybe there's another way in. No, there's not! You're tiny! Climb in! Okay. 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 There we go. Sneaky, sneaky. Heidi, Heidi. She really definitely killed something just now. Nope, I gotta go this way. Oh, I should have turned up my sensitivity. Uh, hi. <coughs> Wait here. Oh, oh, oh! In the leg. <laughs> Meme review this, bitch! <laughs> okay. Time to drop that WJ. Boom, no more raiders! Make your dad proud, Willie Jr. <laughs> That's what you call a flaccid penis. Willie Jr. <laughs> Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour. Thirty minutes. Let's hurry up then. Ten seconds. Who knows? Bombs are tricky. <laughs> Looks like you laughed, Felix. That means you lose, boy. <laughs> okay, we're my friends. Oh. Second deck. That's a lot of feats. Minerva, focus. Focus. I, I have a little brother, short, scarred face. See, he's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. That's the not him, but he know him. we know him. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, shit. Of course she had to be the cell guard. We can't sneak past her. Okay, I'll use my charm of speech. Uh oh, uh oh. Get out. Not without our people. Mm -hmm. I don't like this. I swear to God, if you got ten caught up in this, just, just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. Melt her icy heart. You get everyone out. Then you take my brother and run. Got it. Get him back to where it's safe. Come on, we have to hurry. <sighs> so far, so good. Fuck. Howdy. Are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. Where's uh, Lewis? Uh, yeah, I'm all right. We're all right. Take care of Lewis first. He's. He's in rough shape. I'll unlock the other cell. <laughs> there! It was very tricky. We don't have a lot of time before Doreen comes back. Violet, help me with these guys. Oh, Got God. It. Lewis? Lewis. Lewis. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Don't no. fucking point at us! You're in Bitch! I knew I should have caught her while I had a chance. She's a real. Lewis. I thought he had like no tongue or teeth or something. <laughs> At 
least your dreads are okay. What did they do to you? No! No, no, don't. They, they, uh... They cut out his tongue. They fucking did! He kept fucking talking. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Louis. <laughs> We're getting out of here, okay? <laughs> Jesus, I have no tongue. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Cutting out your tongue would be one of those things that's like, yeah, sure, you use it for talking, but it's one of those things that... For the amount of stuff you use it for without knowing that you're using it. It'd be like cutting off your thumbs. It's like, suddenly you realize how much you use that shit. We're not staying here that long. Hey, no sure. Get the fuck out of here. Um, okay. I'm gonna look over here. Look at sheet metal. That's metal, alright. I said, look at it, not kick it. Hey, Violet, how's it going? You stuck here too? Looks like there's a gap here. Same, so relatable. <sighs> too small to fit my hand through. What's up, purple? I mean, Violet. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here. Hey, boy. Thank God. Shit. At least we're not moving yet. We've still got time to figure this out. We did plant a bomb, remember? So, uh... Vi, are you alright? I'm fine. Looking for a way out. If this thing explodes... You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah. I'm alright. Uh, it's pronounced edge. I'm for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. Maybe if we yell at them hard enough, they'll break. How are you holding up? I can't talk. If Lily... She told us not to talk. We'll be home soon. Just hang in there. You're doing a lot of that thing she told you oh, not to do. Are you hurt? I... Fuck. I just want to go home. We will. Okay. Don't they want these people for their army kind of thing? What is hurting and damaging them going to do? You can kick that board off. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it, they must have taken away my knife. You think? Wait, when? AJ, do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. No. Nice. Murder toothpick. <laughs> oh. He probably doesn't look at knives the same anymore. Couldn't you just kick the board off? It's time to Shawshank this shit. Shawshank or Shawshiv? Hmm. Hey! Whoa! Whatever you doing, don't. I promise you. It ain't worth Let's take the shiv and stab Get her straight in the head. Back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Lillers. I'll take it from here. Hey, what's up? How are you? And you, fucking Scarface. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. 
Hey, Jay, shut Stop. up. You little monster. Damn it. We showed him mercy. He was terrified of turning. <coughs> stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh oh. Back up. Break it down now, y'all. You didn't hear that right? Minerva. Open the door. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. If I get a chance, I'm killing you! First, you organized these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. I'm not your prize. You're crazy if you think I'd ever fight for you. Everyone talks like that when they first join. You'll come around. <laughs> Minerva's like, you yeah, know, you will, father, actually. It's Larry pretty nice here. was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family oh, sitting yeah. in the dark. I gotta say this one. Well, I guess asshole runs in the family. Is that the consequence? <laughs> that you're an asshole? <laughs> the consequence is, I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults. But he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it The Parable of the Twins. I like stories. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind, and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs, and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. Mm. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. Or get they their tongues cut out. Money, or they'd lose everything they built. I'm buckling! Their crops, their power, even their lives. They threatened to cut out their tongues? <laughs> they only do that to the ones who can't keep their mouths shut. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a rat and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? Did you kill Sophie? I killed her. Oh, what the Jesus fuck? fuck. Minnie. No, tell me it's not true. Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. Oh, Jesus. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. 
Like it or not, you a asshole. You're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one or the dead one? What have you done to her head? You I'll kill you in your sleep. Bitch. You're evil. You are fucking evil. Y'all better back away from the door. Violet, calm down. You saw what they did to Lewis. Just do what they say. Why? So I can become a soldier in their army? Someone who kills the people they love? Fuck that! Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll behave. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. I don't want to be the whole like, don't hurt them and I'll sacrifice myself. Don't hurt Violet, or I'll hurt you. Oh. Hey, yo, you better cool it or you're going to get yourself hurt. Fuck no! Get off of me! It's weird to hear Violet so loud. Easy. Stay still. Shit. Fuck you, no! Oh, Jesus. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Ah! Ah, fuck! Just breathe. AJ, no! I don't oh, want. No, no, no! Fuck! Ah! Fuck! Jesus! I don't want AJ to turn like that. I know I can. We'll throw you in the river. I will put a knife right to the side of your head. They talk Jesus. for a little guy. I know I can do it. I killed Marlin. He wasn't a monster, but you are. Dang. Fuck, dude. So you killed Marlin. I bet you'd make a great soldier. Ugh, whatever. Lily, please, don't hurt AJ. I'll do whatever you want. Clem seems to care a lot about you. It's gonna be one of those things, isn't it? Let them go and I'll do what you want. Come on, let's go have a chat. Just us. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clem inside! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Don't. Don't you dare look at me like that. This is the only way we survive. Who are you? Fuck survival! Look at what you're doing! Minnie, please. I just want to talk to you for a second. I'm sorry we never searched for you, for Sophie. I'm sorry we trusted that fucker. There we go. There we I go. I ever thought there was a chance. I know. I know. Okay. But Sophie's, you all. There we go. Have to understand. This is the only way. Kick the door. Stay down. Stay in line, or you die. The people you love die. Yeah, cause you killed her. You just do what they say. You can live. All of you. Fuck this. Nice. Hell yeah. You're the fucking problem here. Try me, bitch. Ow! Fuck! Ooh! Let you get them all killed. Ah! God! Go off me! Uh-oh. 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 Okay, it's not a death shot. Well, this has gone royally ass in the air. We have to go. I can't... I can't <coughs> leave her. Go, I'll catch up. Clem, come on! What are you talking about? Get out of here. Go, I need to find AJ. Better see you on land. You will. Bitch, you almost stabbed me in the chest. I thought you liked me. I thought you loved me. 
Can I kill Lily? Oh, sneaky stealthy time. Shit, I started the boiler. Okay. We'll focus that energy. Sharpen it. Don't worry, Edge. Mama's coming. I've Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. Will she? Will I? <laughs> Fuck You'll this! Once you see what we have to offer. Found one more Plenty sneaking food, over the docks. For you and Clem. You Ten! Ten! Fuck. <laughs> exactly. Tennessee, Fuck. Tennessee, did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. Ah, uh, you're not very well hidden there. Found this in the herd. Aw, oh, James. No wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers. Go, 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 go! Or go, 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 go! Nothing to say. You don't fucking scare me. Yes, James. That's my boy. Is that so? Force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because yeah, fuck you're this weak. shit. I, give my I normally play this fight. in a way that's the like, about people like him what's the right thing to do? The same instinct. Guts. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. I'm gonna get people killed, aren't I? Kill it. No! What the fuck? Easy there, Ted. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Oh, Please. someone's gonna die. Shooter! Why don't we all just take a breath? Oh, I hate and this! My friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or or else. Fuck. Fine. Go ahead then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? I see. You came here to cry. Oh, it's gonna make me make a hard decision. Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please don't. No. Oh god. Uh, who is that? What the fuck is happening? Oh, rugby tackle. AJ's gonna shoot someone, isn't he? You know what? At this point, AJ, I kind of need the help. Take that knee! Stop. Ow! Fuck! My beautiful face! Oh god, oh god, oh, I hate this! Oh, am I gonna have to choose between AJ killing someone and James dying? No, get her, get her, get her, get her, get her, fuck, fuck. Ow! You made a big fucking. <laughs> yes! No! Fuck yeah. Make sure those tendons don't tend no more. Ten, get her! <laughs> oh. AJ, wait. I give up. Should I let him do it? Put down the gun. I'll let everyone leave. My crew and I will leave. We won't bother you anymore. If I don't let him kill her. AJ. Oh wait, no. She's not a threat. Lower the gun. Okay. AJ, let me do it. You don't have to be the one. It's a trick. Don't you fucking dare, AJ. I'm not gonna let him do it. Just give me the gun. You can't let her hurt anyone else. I don't want to die. Lower the gun, AJ. No. 
Okay. Oh, don't let James die. Don't, don't, ah, uh, fuck, something's gonna happen. Ah! Uh. I fucking knew it. James! No! Fucking knew it. Just to let him do it, shouldn't I? But then I knew, oh, the next episode is all about like, you're a murderer! Ugh, fuck! <laughs> I was like, oh, James is gonna die if I don't stop AJ. And then when I saw the character on the ground that James was wrestling with, I was like, oh, he's probably gonna be fine then, but no. Uh, 93% of people killed Abel, to be expected. To I'm curious about the last decision. You and 93% of players just respected James' beliefs. Yeah, that seemed fair enough. 62% of players named a bomb Mitch's masterpiece. Oh, because Mitch was the bomb dude! Oh, yeah! I forgot, if I'd remember that, I would have called it Mitch's masterpiece as well. Dang. Uh 80% of players allowed AJ to attack Dorian. Yeah, I should have done that, shouldn't I? Okay. You and 56% of players told AJ not to kill Lily. So, back here... Okay, this is very loud. In my head, it was, al it was already in my head to not let AJ turn into a killer. So, I was worried that if I had let AJ attack Dorian, that something would have happened. When really, I did want to do this one. Should've just gone with my instincts, man. I, th I, I think too much about these things. Um... 20% of players, yeah, fair enough. Um, but while 80% of players allowed him to attack Dorian, 56% of players told him not to kill... Lily. So, I'm, I'm, we're still in the majority of this one. Okay. 10 missing in action, Minerva missing in action. Abel dead. Lewis was traumatized, he's MIA. He's not really MIA, there's still on the boat. Hmm. Poor James. As much... As nice as James was and everything. He still wasn't as strong a character as some of the other ones in my camp, because he he showed up when he was needed, so to speak. So while while I liked him as a character, he wasn't part of our like core team. Okay. I got one of six. Cool. I missed a lot of them. Are you gonna give us next time, or are you not that far ahead yet? Come on. Come on. I don't think it has anything for us. I think it's just gonna go back to the, the main menu. Man, what an episode. That was good. Yeah. Um... There was a lot of stuff in that, like, the first half of the episode was doing a lot of building up characters, which I feel like is good. Well, a lot of these episodes kind of do that. It's like, they leave the big shit for the end. Um... But that one, I actually felt tense playing the ending of that one. Which was cool. Um, but a, a, a lot of these things... I, again, I'm curious to see how it's gonna play out in the next episode, if James is gonna die anyway. That kind of thing, because in the in the other episodes, it was like, are you going to save this character or this character? And then you pick one, and that person dies. Or the other person dies, and then the next episode, it turns out that the other person dies anyway. So, in the end, it, it means very little. But I'm curious if this time it's actually going to mean anything, because it's hard to plan episodes around that. It basically means that you have to double the development, because... If one character is in the next episode for any length of time, then you have to plan for all those eventualities. Where, in other words, they just kill the character off early on in the next episode because it's like, well, 
we don't have the time or the budget to plan out all these different eventualities if you had kept this character alive. So, I'm curious to see if James will die next anyway. I don't know. And I'm glad that even though Violet got attacked, I'm not happy that I got her a finger chopped off, but I'm glad it was a finger because I thought her whole hand was going to go. A finger going is- you can- you can survive with this. I mean, you can survive without a hand as well, but she's still more capable with these than with a whole hand missing, kind of thing. She's more capable with all her digits. <laughs> I, I should have just let AJ attack her, but whatever. Hindsight's 2020, but overall, enjoyable episode. There's some- there's some leaps in character arcs that I feel like kind of happen a bit too quickly, like the whole Violet and uh, Clementine arc feels like it's it's supposed to be in your head that like oh these are a couple now and you're supposed to just accept this because a lot of the stuff that they're interacting with each other is like I haven't spent that much time with Violet on her own so to see their relationship progress that quickly I mean it's fine it's just a little nitpick but another one is that in all these other episodes it, it's always like Violet or Lewis which one do you want pick one because we're going with this and then in this episode, it felt like they were pushing Lewis a lot more to be like, hey, remember how you didn't romance him? Or it felt like, I don't know, I, I liked Lewis, he's a cool character, I like him a lot. It just didn't feel like I was that close to him, that in this one, everyone was like, all these characters got taken. But remember Lewis? They always focused in on Lewis more than Omar and the Sim. Which I feel is kind of weird, it's like, referencing that they're secondary characters and Lewis means more, but again. Slight nitpicks, it didn't really detract from the overall thing, and I liked, I like big events, like at the end, and that tension of trying to hide away from characters and everything. Really cool. Overall, I liked it a lot. It's one of the stronger episodes. This season is one of the stronger seasons so far. Apart from season one, I think that this might be my favorite season. I can't really remember season two. Season two is pretty decent as well. Um, but I mean, some of the other seasons, it's like, ah, it's okay, but it kind of just feels like, like torture porn at this point. It kind of feels like it wasn't really progressing the way I'd want to. God, I'm so full of wind all of a sudden. But this one feels like it actually has some weight to it because it's spending the time to get to know characters that are nice and relatable. It's giving characters Clementine's age and AJ's age to be able to make them relate more so it bonds you with these characters a lot more. Whereas before it was Clementine in the middle of all these adults. <coughs> and that kind of stuff is harder to relate to. Um, and the characters just weren't as relatable, so this one I feel like has a lot more weight to it, so to speak. Um, but overall, very nice. I'm excited for the next episode. The next episode is going to be the last episode, and it should be the end of Clementine's story, so I'm very curious to see how that pans out. And they gave us a Lee section. I know it's fan servicey, and it's a little like, oh, you had to do it, didn't you? And it's kind of emotional manipulation to bring Lee back like that, but I liked it a lot. I like, because we keep referencing Lee. And normally it's like, you guys just keep referencing him because you remember that he's the strongest character you've ever had in this entire franchise. Um, but in this one it felt very, very nice to see her, like, think about him, dream about him. And especially to see she dreamed about herself as a kid talking to him, so... There's a lot of, like, psychoanalysis and all of that, but I'm not gonna get into that now. Right now I'm just gonna say thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like it, boys! And I face on road. But thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes. Let's go! We miss you, Lee. Come back.